What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at the next project that's being worked on by the developer of Prison Architect and also by the guys that did, I think, Political Animals. I think those are the two groups that are involved with this title. Uh, it's a game called Academia School Simulator, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's actually Prison Architect, but you're building a school for kids. And so the general idea is that you want to go in and you want to create like freshman classrooms, you want to have cafeterias, you want to make sure that they don't like ditch because then you got to send them to detention and stuff like like that and you got to work with remedial students and guys that don't really go with the grain like yours truly you know what I mean some of us out there saw a school as like a giant social experiment not really as a place to learn it is what it is we got what we got from that experience all right so without further ado let's play some academia school simulator it makes me kind of hungry I keep saying that it makes me think of macadamia cookies mmm macadamia cookies so we've got to make our little symbol I like those colors right there so that's probably what I'll take I don't want a basketball on my thing though I don't know we got to take like a yeah snake there we go we need like a snake and then we've got like some kind of weird like I don't know ditch badger or something like there and then we've got a raven hell yeah that raven oh was that a there we go can I have double eagles on the bottom I don't want double e maybe I don't want double eagles on the bottom maybe we'll go with like is there another animal that I can put on here yeah that doesn't don't griffins have wings that doesn't really look like a griffin to me that just looks like a lion Aren't griffins supposed to be able to fly and stuff like that? I don't know. Either way, we're going to call this uh, Snifflebum School of Remedial Wizardry! Exclamation points. Yay! It's the Snifflebum School of Remedial Wizardry. Hooray for us. Hooray for us. So here we are, and in fact, it starts out almost exactly like one would expect had we played Prison Architect, which it's been a really long time since I've played Prison Architect. But the general feeling that I get is that we should probably... Say, I'm going to move the workers' quarters and make that a little bit smaller so we can put the school down by the curb. The delivery area might be something we want to move around as well. Although I'm not seeing... Can I get rid of... There it is right there. So the delivery area, the garbage area... Oh, they gave us a little paddock to put it on. Never mind. I guess I'll, I'll keep it like that for right now so I don't have to waste money on like another... Oh, we've got a pretty big map. Good lord. We've got some space to play around with. Well, that's good. All right. Well, with the space we have to play around with, we probably want to click on the to-do list and find out what it is we're supposed to be doing. So we need a freshman classroom. We need to assign a teacher to that, that freshman classroom. So we got to get the frosh area done. Uh, build kitchens, build cafeterias, and then hire some cooks. So it sounds like we're about to do some engineering. I'm going to build my stuff out of brick walls because, I don't know, the school in my head... Always has brick walls, although my school didn't have walls at all. It was just a bunch of trailers with a fence around it. And that was pretty much it. There was like one big building like in the middle that was kind of like a normal building. But in general, it was mostly just portables. Uh, let's put it right down here off the... We'll give it like a little runway over here. You know what I mean? I'll give it a little runway. We'll call it... Uh, we'll do like some... Where's the concrete at? So we'll go like runway. There we go. To get into the school. I probably should not be decorating making this place look all pretty first, but I'm gonna... So there we go. Let's spend 50 bucks on some planters, I guess. There we go. Planters are all nice and set into spaces. The front of the building is going to be right here. And I want it to be made out of brick. And so we'll go in like that right there. I think a 6x1 is good. We need like a vestibule. We need like a vestibule up here in the front. And so I'm going to make it a little bit wider. There we go. We've already spent like a ton of money though. And so we'll take that back by like... 15 looks good to me. Take that back by 15 right there. All right. And it looks like we've got something that's starting to come together. So this is going to be the front area of our school. Uh, if we wanted to get our classrooms built, let's maybe... Normally, these would be lined with, like, lockers right here. But I don't know if we even have those. Do we have lockers? Can I put in lockers? All? I don't know if all is going to help me out here. Let's see... As far as I can tell, there's not a whole lot of lockers in here, so maybe lockers are coming later. This is, I think, an early access build of the game. We gotta do some doors here. So I'll put in like two doors right there. Then we'll put in, let's give it a little bit of space. We'll put in a door right there and a door right there. And let's go ahead and design these rooms out real fast. So we've got our brick walls. And what I wanna do with them is we'll actually get this one spaced out to right there. And what I'd like to do with it is I think the rooms themselves have to be like five by fives. They've got to be fairly large. And so that right there looks like a five by six. Okay. Works for me. 
we'll do the same thing over here. So there is our... Is that a six down there? How many blocks did I do? I don't know. That looks about right, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks right to me. About right, anyways. And we'll take that up to, like, right there. And then, boom! We got that thing mirrored on both sides. Now, we need to put in some flooring. I think floors are going to be important. We'll just go with straight, just, like concrete for right now we'll go with like i don't even know what that's called but it's concrete and it goes on the floor and laying concrete sucks you ever done concrete work is the worst and i hate it let's never do concrete work again i think i'll probably keep this space very similar we make a couple classrooms along the side just to get ourselves moving what is this right here what does that do oh it's my finances yeah i'm broke thank you for reminding me just in case i forgot the world's always gotta drag me back in and then i think if i just go like that right there I mean, these rooms are not shaped exactly like they're supposed to be shaped, but I like a little bit of asymmetry when I design stuff. Then what we'll do is we'll put a hallway back here. We'll drag that down like so, so that we've got the ability to expand, because that's the other part that I'm slightly concerned about, is that we are going to have to grow this place a little bit. And I'll put a door right there, and a door right there, and then we'll probably put double doors right there. Maybe the gym will go like right here. We'll have the cafeteria on that side, like a big old cafeteria. We'll have another hallway right here that'll be more classrooms. It'd be cool if you could do outdoor classrooms, too, because there's definitely a big architectural difference between an indoor school and an outdoor school. Uh, there was two different kinds of schools where I grew up. There was indoor schools and there was outdoor schools. And the outdoor schools, that's just where the hallway was. I know it sounds more complicated than it actually is, but that's almost literally just where... Is that not working for me right now? All right, we'll go ahead and finish it. There we go. That's almost literally just where the hallway is. So if you have an indoor school, your hallways are inside. If you have an outdoor school, you've got like those overhangs that you walk underneath of when you're trying to go in between your classes and whatnot. And then the classrooms are inside, but you've got like outdoor walkways and stuff. Mine had outdoor walkways, as you might have guessed, given the fact that it had, you know, very little going on with it. It was just portables. Let's go ahead and bring the workers on over, and we'll see what the final product looks like once they get done building our stuff. So things are coming along pretty well. Looks like the school is under construction. They built this school in like four hours. They built this school up. They built this school up in just four hours. Built this school up. Hey man, budget cuts. You gotta get it done. This is what happens when we... This is what happens when we finance and we also set our school construction out to the lowest bidder. This is what happens. This is what happens, kids. Is the brick wall, like, actually a wall? Because I keep seeing them go through walls, but maybe it's just because they haven't finished the walls yet. That's kind of what I'm thinking. The other thing that I notice is that our doors, uh, they don't auto-rotate RimWorld style, and so I learned that lesson the hard way. But everything's just about done. As soon as they tear those doors down, we'll put them back in, and we'll make them face the right way. It's just going to take a minute. You know what? Did I forget to put a wall? Oh, yeah, there was supposed to be a door right there. We'll put some doors. I want the door to be on the inside. I feel better with the door on the inside. There we go. Put the door on the inside. And then I don't know if these doors open to the hallway or they, like, open to, like, I don't know what they do, okay? I don't know what it do. But doors swinging outwards into hallways are usually bad news, but you can't have them swing inwards either. It's a catch-22. Somebody's going to get hit in the face no matter what you do. So now we're done with our school. We want to go ahead and pause because we don't want to waste time here. I think we need to go to zones and we need to set up some classrooms. And so here's a freshman class. Very nice. Uh, so it needs 10 student chairs. It needs a chalkboard. It needs an office table. And it needs a chair. Okay. I'll see if I can make that happen, Captain. So there it is. Uh, they are very unhappy with the way that we've set up our classrooms, but that's okay. We'll work on that in a little bit. Uh, the other thing that I think we should probably do is we should set up our cafeteria. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to put in another hallway right here. This hallway is basically just going to be a transfer area. And I think that might actually be a little bit too wide. Uh, one thing that I haven't been able to figure out so far is if there's a rapid way to delete set pieces like this. Uh, if there's like a rubber band box way to do it. If there is, I ain't seen it. But I assume that there's probably going to be one at some point. Sometimes you want to mass delete some shit. You know what I mean? You want to mass delete it. You want to get rid of it because it doesn't make you happy and it doesn't look good. And so we'll drop that in right there. And with our new door... This is going to go to the cafeteria area, and so we'll put a cafeteria. Let's let's do the cafeteria structure first. So the cafeteria is going to have to have a kitchen area. Now for a kitchen area, I don't know how large that needs to be, 
but I'm going to give it lots of generous room. I'm going to make sure that this cafeteria is future-proofed. And so we'll go like that. That's going to be the kitchen area right there. And then on this side, we'll swing it on in ever so slightly. And we'll just make the cafeteria like that. That looks pretty good to me. And then we'll take a door right there. And we'll take a door right there. And then we'll put a staff door in right here and right here to get into the cafeteria or the kitchen area. And that looks pretty solid. Uh, the kitchen zone tiling needs to go in, so I'll do that. Kitchen zone tiling right there. And then we'll put in kitchen zone tiling over here too. Or maybe we'll use bathroom tiles. I don't know. Either way, looks fine to me. I think that'll work out. Let's go ahead and kick them back up to work. Let me close my to-do list here, and I'm going to let them do their thing inside the classrooms. While they're building that, let's go ahead and lock in the stuff that we're going to need in order to make this stuff work. So we've got our classroom tab right here. We need 10 chairs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I'm assuming that there's not going to be any problem with adjacency over here. If there is, that's going to suck, but I don't think it's going to matter. I'll probably actually, let's do this a little bit more carefully. I want to make sure the kids can access the desks, you know what I mean? If they can't get into their desks, like, WTF, mate, WTF. Maybe we'll, like, put a full row in the back like that right there. That looks okay to me. I can live with that. We need an office table. So there's the office table. We need a chuck -a board. The chalkboard looks like it rotates that way, so we'll put a chalkboard in, like right here. And then we need a chair, which I think goes to the desk over here, although I'm not sure exactly what the chair is for. So there we go. We've got that all set up. I'll probably mirror the design of it on both sides. So there we go. And then we'll go chair, 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 chair. Couple more, couple mo, couple mo, like so. And that should give us the 10 we need. That looks like 12 to me. That should be all right. Keep on dragging chairs on into here. I think the workers done gone home, though. I don't think the workers are excited about the prospects of this new productive activity that we've been setting in front of ourselves. It's okay. I ain't learned much in school anyways. That's why I was never at school, is because, like, they never presented information that was useful in any way. Oh, these rooms are a little bit smaller, so we're going to have to be more careful about the way that we do this. I forgot about that. We lost one right there. So these kids are just going to be crammed to the back of the room, and they're just going to have to live with it. As far as the chair goes, I'll put that right there, and then we need a chalkboard on this side. Perfect. Good stuff. Uh, this room doesn't have a desk, but that's because i got to rearrange this whole thing and make it look a little nicer. I'm running out of floor space here, so there we go. Just cram them in, man. This is government enterprise. Cram these little bastards in so we can get them taught, so we can get them out, and we can make them, like, productive citizens or something. There we go. So they don't end up being shittisons. That's the thing. Is you just don't want them to be, like, axe murderers or anything. Like, I never had axe murdering 101 as a class. That was never a class that I had to take, and probably for good reason. Axe murdering is not a great way to earn a living unless you specifically target people for axe murder that have a lot of money that is easily available. And the problem is that people have lots of money, they usually keep that stuff like in stocks and bonds and they got like safes and stuff like that. And, and safes are unfortunately axe proof. It's very difficult to get into a safe with an axe. So anyways, if you see axe murdering 101 on your school roster, like on the things that you're able to do for your elective credits and whatnot, just... Stay away from that class. I don't think it's got a lot of like future applications to it. I don't think it, it's I don't think it's gonna work out very well. We've got our desk going in. That's looking pretty good. Man, we might even be able to start school if we can get this done right. Our first classroom all nice and finished up. Oh shit. I'ma be a teacher. Alright, and so now let's go ahead and set up some new zones. So as we set up zones here, we are going to need a cafeteria. We'll go ahead and do that right there. That's our cafeteria. Looks nice to me. I didn't eat lunch in the cafeteria. I ate lunch in the computer lab because we had World of Warcraft in the computer lab. And so, essentially, that's all that we ever did. My senior year was amazing. I had done all my credits because I'd taken college classes over the summer by the time that I got to my senior year. And so, basically, I had no classes other than chemistry my senior year. And so, I had, like, five free periods. And I just hung out at school with my friends and played World of Warcraft all day. It was awesome. It was the best. Like, yes, I probably could have used that time to get ahead and, like, do something productive. 
But psh, what do I look like? What do I look like? One of those students that gets one of those things that they hand out at the end of the year? Eh, I don't need to wear a fancy hat with a tassly thing on it. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, let's go to our objects. So inside of our kitchen, we need a refrigerator, we need a stove, and we need some sinks. Okay. Kitchen, where are you at? Kitchen's right here. That stove looks like it's fueled by propane. This does not feel safe to me. I don't know what we're thinking right now, but hey. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll put in like a couple of stoves. There we go. A couple of stoves all taken care of. I'll probably put in a couple of fridges. There we go. That looks good to me. And then they wanted some sinks so that we can wash some dishes. Cool. Probably put in like some sinks like that right there. And then let's just add a few more stoves because who knows the more propane we add to this situation I'm sure the more productive it will be inside of our cafeteria what do we need to make this work inside of our cafeteria we need canteen tables we need food counters and plate counters K okay. so let's go ahead and do that then so I've got my cafeteria canteen tables that is yep that's pretty much what I remember from high school that's pretty much it just a big old row of tables and then we need a food counter. Okay. I don't know how big those are going to be. Uh, big enough is the answer to that question. Big enough. Okay. So I'll put a food counter right there. And then we've got a plate counter. Hopefully that's little. Put plate counters like so. And that looks pretty good to me. Do I need benches to go alongside these right here? My assumption is that, yes, I will need benches to go alongside this. So we'll have a cafeteria right there. I may actually save this for a second cafeteria, or we'll knock the wall out overnight, and we'll put in, like, another cafeteria right there. But it's looking pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and get this thing squared away so we can start the game on off. The beginning of Prison Architect is always the best anyways when you get to do all your awesome building. Do we not agree there? Do we not agree there? I was like the beginning, and then once I've got, like, a massive prison built, I just stop caring. I'm just like, eh, this is getting too complicated. Get it too complicated. Okay, so we're all done. Everything is set up. Uh, I think we've pretty much done the entire... Oh, we've got to hire cooks and we've got to hire teachers. Yeah. So let's go ahead and staff this beezy. Uh, we're going to need four teachers. So it looks like we've got a number of teachers who are... Oh my god, they get paid so much money. So we've got Chris Hanbun. It looks like they get paid a different amount depending on how good they are. We've got Chris Brind, Language, Science, Math... Wow, that guy's good. He's got a doctorate? What do we need that guy to high school for? Good lord. We've got Sean Vanilla. Okay. I'll probably go with people like this right here who are like okay at stuff. Like we'll get like a master's degree and then we'll hire another teacher. We'll get like some we'll get like some remedial teachers, you know what I mean? Like we'll get some of the cheap teachers in there. You gotta do what you gotta do. We got some cheap teachers in here. We'll get we've got art taken care of. We've got some other stuff taken care of. Oh, I've got to deploy him, it looks like. He's actually on my clicker right now. So there it is. We've got Pablo Cruz. I wanted to get a couple people who are, like, good at stuff. And so I'll get the lady with the master's degree next. We've got Vlad Tahoni. I don't know if I trust that Donegal beard, but he's a history teacher, so I'll give him a pass. Don't history teachers always have weird facial hair? I've always known Turtle Bite. I don't trust a teacher named Turtle Bite. How about you get a normal name, and then you can come back and teach a class? I don't feel like Mr. Turtle Bite's going to make it. I don't feel like Mr. Turtlebite's gonna make it in a world full of, like, freshmen. I'm just saying, it's not something that I think is gonna happen. And so we've got the four guys right there. We've got our teachers done. So, if I take you, can I assign you to a classroom? Aha! So I have found it. It took a little bit of digging, but you gotta go to Zone Edit, you gotta click on the little area, and then you gotta say Edit Classroom. And then you assign the teacher over here. So this is a freshman teacher. I'm gonna assign a teacher to this room. Vlad, this room is now yours. The day is yours, sir. The day is yours. And then this is gonna be Vlad's castle. There we go. So it's gonna be Vlad's castle. Vlad Tahoney is gonna do his thing. These are for freshmen, so we will assign the teacher there. And then, sounds good to me. And we need to do this for each of the rooms. And so this one over here, we've already got Vlad already and nice to assign. And so, there it is. We'll go ahead and have Paolo do it. This is going to be Paolo's Pueblo. There we go. And so we'll assign the teacher. Nope, I already assigned a teacher. I already assigned a teacher. This one down here, edit the classroom. We are going to add a teacher down to this one. We are going to have Catherine Sky over here. I think we'll call this one, uh, oh, I don't know, Sky's Lab. So it's kind of like Sky Lab, but not... But not completely. There we go. So it's Sky's Lab. Then this one over here. We will have a teacher go in. And we've done everybody except for Morris. Okay. It's Morris. Uh, inside classroom number one. 
I'm going to call this place the Morris... Nope, that's not what I wanted. We're going to call this the Morris Dome. Perfect. So the Morris Dome is a sign. These are all for freshmen. I doubt that freshmen need PhD qualified candidates in order to teach the classes. But what do I know about anything? We also need to hire some kooks. So let's get some kooks. One, two, three kooks. Cooks are done. And so our to-do list is completed. Basic education is now done. Let's start the school year off and see what happens. Yay! It's time to go to school. Gonna learn some things about books. Yeah. Books are for reading. They're not for licking. I want to read a book. It's gonna be so awesome. My god, is my game paused right now? Is it morning time yet? Oh, it's homeroom. I never had homeroom. Other people I know had a homeroom at their school, but our school didn't have homeroom. You just went straight to first period. Like, you just hung out in the hallways until school started and, like, tried to throw water bottles under cars and stuff like that. Dude, that's what we used to do. We would fill up a water bottle halfway, and you'd try to... There was the carpool area, and without getting caught by the yard Nazis, you'd try to flick a water bottle out into traffic underneath a car's tires, and, like, when the car would go over, it would go POOM! And it would explode hella loud. It was pretty awesome. Now, when we passed the time... Oh my god, there's so many children. Good lord, I am terrified. I stand and look at the face of horror right now. I could never handle this. This is the worst plan ever. Where are you all going? You get breakfast at school? What? That doesn't happen? Dude, I've never had breakfast at school in my life. Are you crazy right now? Maybe I should hire a janitor or two. Let's maybe hire a couple janitors. Just a couple of guys to give the floor like a little scrubby scrubby. So apparently they fill in like every debt. Did we not have enough room? Oh, they're talking about things. Learning from books. It is so awesome. Did you know history books have a slight cherry flavor? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You gotta, you gotta keep it along with the music. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it's second period for right now. I don't think they're gonna be doing a whole lot. They're just gonna learn all day, right? Like, what are they doing? Why are some of the students, like, leaving? Why are they in the bushes right now, throwing up and peeing everywhere? Oh my god, I didn't build bathrooms! Oh my god. I have created a urine-based emergency. Good lord. I forgot about bathrooms. I forgot about bathrooms. Kids need bathrooms! Kids need bathrooms. I forgot about that. See? This is why they don't let me run stuff. This is why, right here. This is why they don't let me run stuff. Um, maybe I'll put in, like, some bathrooms over here? That sounds okay. This seems like a reasonable spot to have bathrooms. I will put in some bathroom tiles. Oops, I was like, are they vomiting? What's wrong? This seems a little, oh God. They, um, they have to pee. They have to pee. Didn't think about that. Children urinate. Yeah, children urinate. That is a legit, that's what we like to call in the industry, a logistical problem. So anyways, what do what do bathrooms cost me here? Because I need bathrooms really bad. Also, a janitor's room seems like something that I might need. Maybe I'll put the janitor's closet, like, right here. Although, that lowers my ability. Like, I wanted to keep the hallways. Maybe the school will just go this way. How close to the edge of the map are we? Not that close. It'll be fine. It'll work out great. Um, let me take a look. And bathroom, toilet. There it is. So, we can have urinals. Well, those are expensive, man. Who knew the urinal was so expensive? And then we can do like a toilet cubicle. There we go. I'll put toilet cubicles on either side. Oh, they need to have like a runway. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Mm, maybe I can do this like a mirrored thing. Seems plausible to me. We can line it up like that right there. See, you got to get that, that corner urinal over here is where the fights go down. And then this bathroom over... Oh, there's probably needs to be like a sink too, right? Scheiser. Okay. Hmm. You don't need sinks. Just nobody washes their hands. That's like one of those suggested things that your parents tell you to do, but you never actually do. That doesn't happen. How come that one looks like it's inside the wall, but this one does not? That bothers me slightly. This one's just going to be all turlets for right now. Although I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it needs like a thing in front of it. We'll go like that then. Yep, just space it out a little bit. You get these custom you get these custom ones over here. That's how you do it right there. I like your way you do it right there. Builders come over here and make me a bathroom before people pee on my floors. I feel like the janitor is responsible for things he doesn't need to be responsible for right now. Oh my god, there's so much pee. 
There's so much pee. At least it's funny that the developers thought of that and they made the kids go pee in the bushes. Look at that, they always pee in the bushes. They find a bush and they go pee. Oh my god. Our school is definitely remedial. My building style is remedial. You guys need to stop getting mud everywhere. Like, goddamn, dude. Why you, why you get mud everywhere, though? Why was that necessary? Maybe the kids will actually use toilets this time around. Let me also get started on this janitor's closet back here. I just, I feel like it's a good idea. So janitor's closet, there we go. We'll take a staff door and we'll put it right there. So are the builders done with the bathrooms? You guys didn't put tile, there's grass runways going into our, going into our bathrooms. Hey man, you're the one that built it, not me. If you didn't want it that way, why'd you click it that way, you dunce? And I'll be like, well, I'm not good at school design. That's what I learned today. I am not good at designing schools. There's so many children though, like in Prison Architect, you get like five prisoners at a time. Here, they gave me like a hundred prisoners in the first go. I did not expect this at all. Ooh, we're making money though, that's good. Yay, children, they become money. Add a few more janitors, just in case. As far as zones go, can I do like a janitor's room? There we go, that looks good to me. Janitor's room needs a kitchen sink, a table, and a chair. Okay, let's do that very rapidly too. So we've got a kitchen sink, done. We need tables, and we apparently need chairs. There we go. So we've got the janitor's closet all done now. Back to school, it's fourth period. Fourth period's kind of late in this school. Two in the afternoon for fourth period? My fourth period was like 11.10 to 11.50 or something like that. Or it was like, it was like 11.20 to 12.12. I remember it was something weird like that, like 12.12-ish. Why are you guys still peeing over here? Is it because I have to call this a bathroom? Is that they don't know it's a bathroom until I call it a toilet? Oh my god. All right, it is now a toilet. Here, this is a toilet. This is a toilet, children. Apparently, the public school system and primary schools have really failed you guys. I've got to label it a toilet with a thing that says, Why are you covered in blood? Oh, I thought the I thought the lunch lady was covered in blood. I was about to be like, eh, that's... Oh, I like how they give a, like, a little jiggle there at the end. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the drippies off. You gotta get the drippies off so that when you put it back in, it doesn't get like that random little spot of pee on your undies. Because nobody likes the guy with pee spot undies. Well, there's our school for right now. My name is Splattercat. This game is Academia. I am going to be continuing this game. I think it's pretty awesome. Let me know what you think. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.